now going to involve any time on the stove. We're going to make a spring gazpacho and a surprise spring salad, which you'll find the ingredients out for later. Let's go ahead and focus on the gazpacho first. Let's get the ingredients out. Okay, so here are the ingredients for a spring gazpacho. Yellow bell pepper, four red tomatoes, four cloves of garlic, two to three cucumbers, a red onion, and I'm gonna be using a uh, red cabbage. Now, I chose these cucumbers because I just like the crispy Persian cucumbers. If you like the bigger ones, just use two. And I wanna add a little splash to my gazpacho, so that's why I chose a yellow bell pepper and this red cabbage. The more color you have in your dish, the more you're gonna to wanna to eat it. It's beautiful to look at, makes you hungry, makes you salivate. And actually, different colored foods have different nutrients. So the more color you have in your dish, the more variety of nutrients you have. about chopping it nice and efficiently because we're going to be using a nice little handy tool at the end when we got all the ingredients in the bowl as you can see you don't have the best chopping skills you don't really need to just be careful with your fingers of course and then I'm just going to toss it all into this little pot there we go and on to the next ingredient look at these colors oh, look so delicious okay we're going to add four cups of about a quarter cup of white vinegar, that's not just fine. About a tablespoon of organic olive oil. There we go. And we're going to put in my staple spices for just about anything sea salt, garlic powder, and cayenne. Cayenne is so good for you, it strengthens your immune system, it helps you burn fat, and it's great for circulation. I'm going to use this immersion blender. It's about $20 at a homeware store. It's the easiest, funnest thing to do. This is the best part. Okay, just make sure that you get it blended into the ingredients before you turn it on. Otherwise, it's going to splash all over the place. <laughs> Bought arugula pre washed. Put that in a bowl. A little bit of feta cheese. Actually, it's uh, sheep's feta. So that's much in there. Now for our surprise spring ingredient. Look at that. Watermelon. It's not gorgeous. Sprinkle some of that in there. We've got some almonds toasting in the oven. Mm -hmm. okay, so just get them top brown. You don't need to keep them in for that long. Grapeseed oil, really good for you, lowers your cholesterol, not too much. Squeeze some lemon in there, just like that. And again, my key ingredients, cayenne, sea salt, garlic powder, and then we're going to add just a couple of sprays of Bragg's amino acid. It's similar to a soy sauce, it's really good for your body, amino acids are the building blocks of protein, so spray some of that in. Look at this, so many colors, so healthy. It took me no time to make it. I can't wait for my friends to try it. Let me know what your friends think of it. I'm Tamara Kagan, thanks for watching.